Ladies, it's me, Tony, and today's video is an unboxing of some shoes that I got from Saks. Um, these are Valentino shoes, so they're tennis shoes. I was just browsing Saks recently, um, just like a fun shopping thing, so I just went around to see what they had in the store. And I remember when these shoes first came out in Saks, I tried them on, I really liked them, and then I was happy to see when I went back into Saks. Um, just this past week that they were on sale and so I just picked them up and I'm still debating if I should keep them or not because they are a half size smaller than the size I actually tried on even though they fit there's a whole kind of thing with that so we'll see maybe you guys can let me know if I should keep them or not also um, if you're new to my channel please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, all that kind of stuff. I see in the analytics, a lot of you guys that are watching my videos are new, you're not subscribed. So if you like what you see, then please consider subscribing, okay? And post it. So if you're new, I also posted a video about things that I got from Saks. I'm actually wearing two of the things that I bought. Um, I bought uh, the Lip Addict, whichever one's the liquid one, that the Glossy, I bought that one, the Lip Plumper. So I bought the Lip Plumper from Sex. so I have that on now. I just put that on and it is like tingling my lips like crazy. So if that's something you're kind of concerned about, maybe not getting that because it, it, I can definitely feel that it's on my lips and tinkling. Also, I have the mascara, the YSL mascara. Um, I really do like how the mascara apply. With one swipe, I was able to actually see my, um, my eye lashes and I don't really wear makeup at all, just eyelashes and um, lip. So if you guys are interested in that video, I will link that in the cards as well um, because the Nordstrom sale is going to be going live soon. So if you guys are interested in just seeing a couple things that I was thinking about buying from there and things that I actually purchased from there, check out the video. It'll be linked, okay? So moving on to what I got from Sex. Here's my little Sex bag, see it? <laughs> okay, so they always give like such a big bag. So we're gonna unbox the shoe. Like I said, it is a Valentino shoe, so they have this little red box. The top of the box, it says Valentino Garavani. Garavani? Garavani. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I always just say Valentino. So, my Valentinos. I don't own a pair of Valentino shoes at all. I really wanted to get some mules from them, but I never got them uh, because I was thinking they were just cute. And I see them on the sales associate all the time, but. They really don't go with my aesthetic. They really don't go with the type of luxury buyer that I am or the type of person that I am. Like, I like things that are comfort and easy that I can easily throw on with everyday life. So, here's the shoe. So, the shoe that I have is, it's called the Gumboy Sneaker, although it doesn't have the name on the box. Um, I got it in a size 39 and a half. So, let's open the box. Okay. Right on top, when I took the top off, we got the dust bag, and then I have two shoestrings. One is like a velvety shoestring, and I don't know how this even goes, but because um, it doesn't match anything. <laughs> the, when you see the shoe, you'll, you'll question it too, but just like a velvety shoestring. And then also an extra pair of shoestrings that has Valentino on it, and this if you see the like the cover part that goes around it it feels really good um and i just unboxed some gucci aces and they had like the similar thing but this like feels a lot more luxe <laughs> than the gucci one did so that's that for the shoestring they also gave me one dust bag which i'm surprised i didn't get two there we go and when i opened up the dust bag um two things popped out so let me see what those are okay so one is like a little envelope let me open that up in the envelope it says valentino vani saying like the thing and then a little card just telling me information and it says all i see is spanish oh here's english this product uses a passive uh rfid so it, it uses riffs um to identify and guarantee its authenticity, authenticity, authentic, authenticity, authenticity, and its authenticity. Thank you. It took me a while. Uh, 
prevent counterfeiting and enable specific customer services. Valentino does not use this technology to gather any customer's personal information. So it's just telling me that it uses Rift ID, that it doesn't gather any of our information. So I'll put that down. And then there's another one too. And let's see if this is saying the same thing. I'm not sure. It feels a little bit bigger, so it might say something different. There's like two things of it in it. Okay. Um, this one talks about, I guess it's the shoe. So it looks like this. It's a little bit different. Um, it says that it's high tech. Yeah. Antibacterial, memory effect, absorbent, long lasting, durable, and active charcoal don't know what that does and always dry so i guess it's saying like the footbed of the shoe because what i have is another sneaker um uh, it's basically good i guess that's what it's trying to tell me and then the other one i'm thinking that might be the rift one again nope this says this article is made from leather any imperfections are characteristics features of the leather and not a flaw to preserve the quality of this product we recommend avoiding contact with water grease and salt solvents clean with soft cloth and store in a protective case provided so that's that so let's get into opening it up i know that was a lot of just jargon about random things but some people like that to see everything a shoe comes with so that's why i showed it so let's open it up okay so let's look at them so i have these are called the gum boy sneakers they come in different colors so here it is i like it because i like pink i like blue it actually kind of goes with my headband i could wear these two together i could put this on as an outfit today actually so here's the shoe So they have the speckle like the paint splatter. Has Valentino Garvani on the Garavani on the side. On the back you have the V logo, which I think is really cute. I can hardly hold this the right way, which I think is really cute. And then this is just the other side. So the insides of the shoes are just plain, nothing in them. Um, and that's really all the shoe is. So um, I will show you guys a picture of me actually wearing the shoe. I already see it like creasing at the front part. But I will insert an uh, image of me like wearing the shoe so that you can just see what it looks like on my feet. It's a really cute like chunky type of sneaker. And I don't have a chunky type of sneaker. All the sneakers I have are like a flat sneaker. So I just thought this would be a good addition. When I bought these, I tried these on with like some shorts. And I just thought they looked so good on. They also have Valentino on the tongue. You can hardly see it, but... There it is. It's right there on the tongue. Um, and on the inside, it does have the code. So you can see the code for your shoes just to like verify more of its authenticity. 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 Okay, there we go. The word of the day is authenticity because I've been struggling with it today. So yeah, these are the shoes. They're really cute. Like I said, the splatter they're in is like a blue, a blue and a pink. Goes really good with my headband today. So I wasn't even thinking about it when I put this on and I knew I was going to do this video. I wasn't even thinking about how well these go. So it might make me keep them. But here are some cons with this shoe for me. So the inside, you heard me read all the stuff that it said was good about the shoe and that kind of thing. Absorbent and all this kind of stuff, all this good technology. When I put on the shoe, however, it just feels like the, a regular inside of a sneaker. It doesn't give me any cushion, any support. And I have some Stuart Wiseman sneakers. They have like a good insole that feels really good on my feet. I don't wear socks, so don't talk about me. I don't wear socks. I don't like it, okay? I do wear socks like if I'm wearing a boot, but if I wear a tennis shoe, I'm not wearing a sock, okay? So don't do me. I'm not wearing a sock. But a boot, I will wear a sock because they're a little bit more sweatier. But um, yeah, I don't wear a sock. So the inside of the bed kind of irritates my feet or it just feels like a basic tennis shoe. And I feel like for the amount I spent on it, 
um, and the amount that it was originally worth because I did not pay full price for this. I got it on a sale. Like the first time uh, I seen it on sale, it was like 500 and something. I got it well below $500. Well, well below $500. So um, when I first seen it, I was like, okay, I really like the shoe. Let me try it on. I tried it on. And another thing that was bothering me is I could feel like the break, like where they put the two parts of the shoe together at the top. And that could be because I don't wear socks, but it, it was kind of annoyance to me. I was just feeling like the shoe could have been made a little bit better. Here's the bottom part of the shoe. So basic. These are on sale on other sites too. I have seen them on site uh, for more at... Um, like Bloomingdale's and that sort of thing. That's probably what I will link in the description box is them on sale at a different place other than Saks because I think all the ones in Saks are sold out. So I will link it at another place. But I did find these in store. This was the only size they had in store, which I knew anyways going into it when I tried it on because of the fact that the day that I tried them on at the store uh, before they went on sale when they were regular price, they didn't even know they had this shoe. So they have this in a different color too. They have an all white version, which is cute. And then they have like a yellowy version of it as well. So they do have different colors if you just like the look of the shoe. I really do like the shoe, so I'm considering keeping it. But if you've seen my Nordstrom video, you know there's another pair of tennis shoes that I want that are white as well. And even though they're less than this shoe, I'm still thinking about maybe taking this one back and getting those. So I don't know. I haven't worn them out yet for that reason because I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep these or not. I also bought an insert to go inside um, from Target, like a Dr. Scholl's insert that I'm hoping will help with that, the feel of it. Like I said, because I'm not wearing socks, I just slide my feet into shoes. Sometimes I wear the no show socks, but that's only if I really like want to wear it or you know if i'm just feeling different but for the most part i don't wear socks and my shoes don't sink okay they don't sink but anyways um yeah so here's the shoe again i'll show you it again can i get it together okay here's the shoe again here's the front really cool sneaker here's the sides here's the back and I got these in a 39 and a half, and I'm typically a size 40. However, these fit fine for me. I wouldn't size down in Valentino for any other shoe um, because I've tried on their sandals and I'm typically a 40 or sometimes I might have to go up on their shoes. So it just really depends. That's why I do recommend going into stores, trying on shoes um, first before you like buy any like good deals you see online because sometimes depending on how the shoe is made and cut, it doesn't fit you the right way. And then you've wasted all your time waiting for a product to come and then it doesn't fit you. Okay. So these are my Valentinos. I'm thinking about keeping them. I'm going to try them on today and see how they work. And then if they are cute with my insole, then I'll keep them. But yeah, that's the shoe. That's really all I got for you guys. If you stayed this long, please, please, please consider subscribing. I am trying to grow my channel, you guys. I am trying to grow. And I appreciate all of you guys who have, you know, stuck out and watched my videos uh, all the way through to its entirety and that sort of thing i do appreciate that i also appreciate you guys that have been liking and commenting tell me telling me stuff asking me questions like i appreciate that i really do and because i'm trying to grow i would like you guys to subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> what are we waiting for um and i just want to thank you guys just for watching um just for clicking on my face and deciding to watch the video okay i really do appreciate it and um i just want to thank you guys again because you could have been anywhere else but you decided to be here and i appreciate that hope you guys have a good night a good morning good evening whatever you're choosing to watch this video and i will see you guys on the next one bye